Good morning everyone, this is MultigameMaster1 here and welcome back to my 100% Let's Play of Pikmin. Yesterday we completed everything in the Forest of Hope, as you can see on the monitor. We found all 8 missing ship parts in the area so we won't be coming back here anytime soon. And so, today we're going to travel into the Forest Naval and continue our expedition in the Dark Cave. So, let's get started. And I pretty much already know the first thing I'm going to do to unlock some shortcuts. Between the SS Dolphin and the Onion and the dark paths that lie up ahead in the Dark Cave. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is call out all of my yellow Pikmin. And I do believe that at this point in time, some sh some more Shearwakes have spawned. So I'm going to deal with those guys real quick. And indeed, I was right. We have another Shearwake right there. Okay, so that's one down and a couple more left. There should be two left. Here's one. And for some reason it's crawling away. Okay, where is it? Okay, there it is. Okay, there we go. Once again, task completed without losing a single Pikmin. So I'll have the yellow Pikmin carry those scraps back. And then toss 10 yellow Pikmin over here. And have the rest of them construct this little bridge right here. Okay, so where did I put my yellow pigmen? There they are. And I just realized that th that wasn't the way I wanted to go. Where I wanted to go actually was down here to pick up some bomb rocks. Now to carefully toss the yellow pigment up there. Okay, and with these bomb rocks, I'm going to have the yellow Pikmin destroy this wall over here. And I sure hope that Honey Whips doesn't get in the way. Okay. Now to call the remaining yellow Pikmin over here. And we have one last bomb rock. I'll use it to slightly damage this rock wall over here. Okay, so now with the yellow Pikmin, I'll have them construct this bridge right here. 
And right there we have a brand new enemy. I'll cover it when the time is right. Right now I really don't want to explore the, the path at this time. And I really hope those Pikmin don't get burned. That is actually pretty close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. Okay. All back. Now let's go ahead and send the yellow Pikmin back because their work is pretty much done for now. And next I will call the blue Pikmin to take care of two things. Well, actually, a few things. So I'm gonna have the blue Pikmin unpatch this geyser right here. as well as construct the climbing stick. And now we can focus on the ship part. I found my number one Ionium jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly odiferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Now let's go ahead and have the blue pickman carry that back. Have the rest of them climb up the stick. Handy shortcut activated. Now with the rest of the blue Pikmin. I'm just going to have them carry this back. And in a flash, well maybe not a flash, but given a quick amount of time, Shippard has been recovered. Number one Ionium Jet. If this is damaged, I'll be in dire straits. I will have to run a system check as soon as I can. 13 to 30 parts, 16 more will increase the ship's capabilities. And we're half short on time, so... There is one, one last thing that I want to do. And hopefully we'll be able to make enough time for it. Okay, so now I'm going to send the blue Pikmin back. And this next objective could be the very last objective that I'm going to do for today. I'm going to call all of the red Pikmin and cover the even darker areas up ahead, along with the new enemies. There are two of them that are ahead and I will cover them. Okay, now let's go ahead and get right to it. This creature is known as a fiery bullhawk, and basically its main, its main means of attack is shooting fire out of its nostrils. And you want to swarm it with red Pikmin in order to defeat it quickly. And the reason why I say red Pikmin is because, as you can see, they are impervious to fire. Which means that... Uh, Pikmin? 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 
Oh, I was afraid I was gonna lose those guys. Anyway, as I was saying, if you attack the fiery bullhog with yellow and blue Pikmin, they will burn to death. So, given their skin color, you want to strategically attack the fiery bullhogs with the red Pikmin. And you'll want to time your swarms carefully to avoid your Pikmin getting thrown back, and sometimes they will fall for a glitch if they do get thrown back. I guess one would call it a death glitch. And right here we have a brand new enemy. This frog-like creature is known as a Wallywog, and its main means of attack is just pouncing on small targets. You could swarm it to deal with it, defeat it quickly, but if you're not trying to lose Pikmin, like I'm doing right now, just launch the Pikmin directly on its back. It takes a little longer to defeat the monstrosity this way, but as I said, if you're not trying to lose Pikmin, I recommend this method. And just like that, the Wally Walk is defeated. Now I think this is the last fiery bullhog right here, so let's go ahead and deal with this creature now. Okay, very good. Now I'm just gonna have the red Pikmin carry all these scraps back. And you'll notice that the path along the forest navel, it's pretty dark, but Almar has this little headlight, which allows him to see the way. And getting a good look at the area, I'd say this area is pretty big. But it'll be easy to take care of things in this area. Okay, so we have a couple more blowhogs. I'll take those back as well. And sorry for the little mistake from earlier. It's real hard to deal with the fiery bullhogs while you have 100 Pikmin and when you're close to the water's edge, but at least I'm happy that, you know, I haven't lost the single Pikmin. So now the bullhogs are being taken care of, and I think the very last thing that I'm going to have the red pikmin do is take down that wall over there. I'll get the rest of the red pikmin and unlock that path for us to explore. However, we're running really short on time, so we won't be able to cover this area today. So, it will have to be saved for tomorrow. But at the very least, we could just have the Pikmin take down the wall so we can explore it the very next day. And they're already making good progress. And I'll cover those fires just as well. I just like the bell sound that happens when day's end is about to approach. I really do like it. Ding, 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 ding. I don't know why I just did that. I'm sorry. I just like it so much. Okay, the red Pikmin are almost done taking down this wall. Ten seconds left. Now before I go, I guess I will explain these fire jets. They happen at regular intervals, so I highly recommend 
using your red pikmin to get through here however i'm not gonna i'm not just gonna be using red pikmin here i'm also going to be getting all three of the blue of the color pikmin for a task that we will get into tomorrow but just keep in mind that the red pikmin are impervious to fire from the fiery bullhawks and the fire jets Ten days since impact. Hope has begun to well up within me for the dolphin's repair and my own chances for a reunion with my dear family. Tomorrow, I shall go forth with a new attitude and continue my exploration in a different region. I hope that fortune will smile upon me. And so far, we're making really good progress with not a single Pikmin loss. And looking at the red Pikmin population, seeing that they have the most... In retrospect, I probably should have given those to the yellow Pikmin. I don't know. But I will equalize the population. I will find a way. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So now will be a good time to call it a night. So tomorrow we're going to head back into the forest naval and explore more of the dark cave in search of some more, of some more ship parts. As well as some new surprises that may lie ahead. So until tomorrow, I'm Multi Game Master one Thanks for watching and have a good night.